Hello guys, hope you all are good. Welcome to another interesting video on our BAY channel. And in this today's video, we are going to learn about parameters and performance measures. So this is our video one on parameters and performance measures. This is a very important feature in Flexim simulation modeling. And today we are going to understand about the, those. We are going to learn how are we going to use parameters to the simulation model and we are going to learn about how we are going to use the performance measures into the simulation model. So we have already covered the stuffs in this like if you go in the plus symbol and in the statistics if you look we have statistics collector, multiple collector, calculated table and the related stuffs. The video on the statistics collector, milestone and calculated table, we have already created those and those are already available on our YouTube channel, be aware. And you can access the premium videos of this on our website, beaverechannel.com after purchasing a subscription. And now we are about to discuss model parameter table and performance measure table. So let us begin about parameters and performance into the simulation model so if you could look at what i have already created parameter one and performance measure one and what you are able to see is my performance major is getting incremented while my parameter is fixed now let us understand what is parameters so parameter the name itself implies basically it is going to be the variables okay it is going to be an entity which is going to drive the simulation model okay so it is basically into the numbers and you can enter this so if you look at this parameter table there is type lower bound upper bound reference and onset so basically what uh, we are going to do today is i'll just ex explain you the example which we are going to learn today so what we are going to do is we have assigned a parameter to this processor one and we are going to analyze what is the impact if we are going to change the parameter so this is that simple so we are going to vary the parameter and we are going to check what is its performance measure okay now the name itself implies the performance measures are basically going to be used in order to measure how the system performs if the parameter is going to get changed the parameters and the performance measure are the most important parameters or you say functions for running optimizers and experimenter in flexion simulation model so that's the reason we need to know how we can use the parameters and performance measure because based on those our optimizer and experimenter results are going to vary and are going to become vague so there are different stuffs going on with respect to parameters and performance measures so what we are going to do now is the example i told you is like this is basically the cycle time so what we are doing we have an integer type assigned if you look at we have continuous discrete binary and stuff here so basically we are currently going ahead with integer type and in the integer we are having a range specified from 1 to 10 and we have referred a processor 1 and we have told it to assign it to a property process time if you could look at we have setup time we can use setup operator count we can change the processor operator count and then operator preemption can be applied use transport and a lot of different stuffs are there so we are going to change the process time of this processor and going to change how it is going to perform now if you look at the performance measure in the value what I have done is I have referred to sync 1 and we are going to analyze the value as statistics as input. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to check what is my output from the processor if I am going to have certain type of cycle time assigned to the processor. Okay. Now if you could look at 
whenever I'm going to assign a cycle time of three units, I'm going to get performance measure as 477 parts. Okay, so if you could look at the cycle times are in seconds, so this is three as seconds. So if I change this to 10 seconds and I reset the model and I run, so if you could look at now I am getting only 143 pieces. So you can check how the impact of my change in the parameter can impact my performance measure. But there is a tweak and a great point in performance measure. Now I'll just want to show you, I'll just reset and I will change the cycle time to 1.36. Okay. And you could look that the parameter has automatically selected as one inside the range rather than selecting 1.36 why is it so is because we have selected integer okay because of integer we are going to only take 1 2 10 whole numbers and now i'll run the simulation model and you can look at what has happened is i just reset and i'm going to run and if you could look at i'm getting 14 30 as the production out for one second cycle time now the point to remember here is that the parameter values are going to be feeded onto whichever entity you are going to direct to only when you reset the simulation model so if i uh, press say six as six seconds as the cycle number processor it is not going to get updated here so you just need to reset and once you reset then only the processor value is going to change to whatever parameter you have set it so to summarize the advantage of the parameter is that you can easily assign the values okay to the entities easily set the parameters set the objective easily assign it you need not have to put long codes and the the moment you're going to change the values in the parameter and hit reset all across your simulation model whichever entities you are going to select and all values are going to change the parameters are going to change and you can then analyze what is your performance measure based on the parameters you have selected so you can feed in the input and simultaneously you can check what is the impact of my input on my output the next biggest advantage of parameters and performance measure is that if you are basically trying to deviate outside the range okay the constraint which you applied here that it has to be integer then even if you feed in the value as 6.83 it is going to auto correct for you and it is going to use it as 7 okay and then you will be able to see the output of the performance measure based on 7 and not 6.89 now if you want to go with 6.89 and stuffs then you can hopefully go with continuous there is discrete there is uh, options binary and there are a lot of different stuffs which you can try in and then you can go ahead for your selections and the stuffs so this is how basically the uh, parameter and the performance measures are going to work in okay so this is the most important stuff so this was just a basically a high level to understand what is parameter and performance measures okay in the video too we will be looking in detail about the types of these parameters what are the users and when we need to use these types so stay tuned with us for more further interesting video on flexim simulation modeling on our be aware channel so this is our video one of parameters and performance let us meet in another interesting video on performances and parameters till then stay safe stay simulating